May I introduce myself? I am the new collector. I am a successful young entrepreneur. And I do not need art to benefit my position in society. But I am curious. I write. I think. I like to get involved with the risks are taken. I want to accompany artists who are producing critical art, introduce them into the art market, place their work as aesthetic products and pieces. I consider myself more like a mecenas in the old sense, having a sensibility to issues that are vital today and devoting my capacity to where it is needed, where no one else, no existing funding body yet exists or gets involved. I fill an interim gap. My profile is to help this kind of art production to widen its recognition, to bridge the gap between the art market with its more and more speculative development and the social critical art which seems to be bound to economical sufferings and precarious life situations next to the wide range of unemployed academics. Even if you don't believe in me, I am, and you will be more. We are tired of the games that have overshadowed the art scene, the entertainment aspect of the last years, the game of the more expensive we are, the better we are is. We are tired of the power plays serving to, ma serving to maintain territories of people who think in old hierarchical structures, who consider themselves the doers, as the Dalian figures of contemporary art. We finally have to tell them that they are a dying species. No, we, don't, we do not have to tell them. They already feel it. Otherwise, they would not need to be so defensive about their achievements. Art production is as fluid as the rest of our lives. Who wants to halt has already lost. This does not mean that I do not want to offer stability to the artists I support. This is more important than ever. But I do not believe that a good artist is the one who suffers, that suffering improves the art. Let's talk about questions of authorship, of the profile of an artist, artists who produce as an individual under their name, as well as being a, a member of a group, are more difficult for the art market, you say. I do not believe that. The multifaceted role of art production is reflected in the multiple appearance of the artist as well, of course. We believe it is an outdated model to think of the artist as the one who works with Terry Cloth or as with erected penises. Interesting art today is more multi-layered than that, so it also requires more time for the viewer to reflect on it. You ask, but where is the emotional component? I say, this is highly emotional. I'm especially working with artists who do not differentiate between critical content and aesthetics, who are convinced that also critical art projects can and must have an aesthetic expression beyond the so-called invisible aesthetic. I say it is highly emotional to personally getting involved in a process oriented art production in opening up to a yet unclear outcome. You ask, but what will my peers think? As a member of the board of MoMA and the Maya Gallery in Berlin, I am a highly visible person. I say they will respect me even more because daring to take the first step out of the crowd, not yet knowing who the followers will be, that is convincing in itself already. And they will see. They will see. We must state examples to convince. The question of reputation changed. In times when critical art is ordered by companies, who want to cover up unsocial or unethical practices, we have to look where and how to situate ourselves. I, as the new collector, am female. I do not have any more patronizing allures. I'm a bit of an Agnes Varda type, a strong woman, but vulnerable at the same time. I can also be male, but now, as a start, I want to be female because women artists need new role models. We have to transgress the competition 
between the female galleries and female artists or the undercover attraction relationship between the male artist and female galleries, the artist as rejuvenator. As you can see, I'm still juvenile, I can still grow, and I will grow. As a new collector, I have the potential to be witty, self-critical, open-minded, charming, modest, and generous. 